for willingness. Neutral. Diversity. Superiority. Transformation. On black. One hundred and twenty six pounds. Black criminal for living a political death. Here. Your coat, me, that's heavy. Those new kicks, heavy. No, Mikey. Curse why my call, my skin is heavy. Lady Bob Mecca says, I'm cool like that, I'm black like that, we out. I get it. Though I desire no fire on land. How I trade my food to be flying, no weightlessness all of the time. Fly to diggable planets to chase spaces with stars, not quite. I chase spaces on fields with delineated lines that happen to be white, but are not whiteness. And Hannah's right. My skin shines with white people's problems, but on flip-lit spaces, white light on my back, feet on the ground, my skin shines only with sweat. How I train my call to be fly and feel this weightlessness all the time. A packaged other amongst packaged others from the factory of whiteness with no escape from the perverse. Climbing, chasing a call, waiting, fluorescent lights and white cube spaces. I attempt to fail using the safe space of the night. Its darkness may mirror my skin, but not my mask. And how is it that Fanon knows more of me than I know of myself? And it's in those moments when I reach for the window to breathe, for a pool to air my display navigating spaces that don't fit and are unfit for my body, that I trade my pool to be fly, to feel weightlessness all of the time. Impossibility. So that's what I've got mad. Just Jefferson. Probably just bored. Starting to become decolonization. Become a nuisance. Vernacular. And I went to St. Paul's school in Tottenham. 
that's where that's where it started to sink in like well. I can't pay a kick to a class. Interpretation. In 42 years, in 2058, an Eastern nation will always go to the top of the whole island. Future is past. Sensibility. Homogenization. Reverse in right, I should south down left. Domination. And spat a Pacific north. Here Class. The south is north and west is east. Real is future. Lingers it. Antagonism. Known be. Domination. To want not the unknown, the unknown, and is history read? Well, there is something future and future. Multiculturalism. Anthropological. Reverse in world a about reverse e about sensibilities about unlikely keys flatness about possibility speak of will I as revert neutral 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 sensibility 
segregation. Antagonistic. Transcoercive. Ethnocentrism. Belonging. Anachronistic. Historic. Awareness. Archival. Blender. Sensibility. In school, I was good at art. Desire. Differentiation. Identical. Diversity. Blackness. Transgressive. Decolonization. Migrant. Colorless. Power. Visibility. Superiority. Transformation. Nothingness. Intergenerational. Diverse. Um, Universal. Differentiation. Darkness, flatness,
Octavia Butler's novel offers an interesting introduction to black geographies. Known as predicament, as a contemporary subject forced into a time-space compression and a time-space reversal, allows her to confront and produce several landscapes. Geography, cartography, phenotype, body. I want to turn to the idea of the bodily archive. Body as archive, archive as body, since I feel it appropriate in reviewing the Kittrick's text. In discussing location, ownership, or lack thereof, placement and displacement, diasporic struggles, the body becomes the geographical landscape and the discursive site on which these points converge. Butler refers to something lost or barely visible, or seemingly not there to our supposedly well-trained eyes, while Edouard Grisson suggests that geographies produced in conjunction with, and often because of, white European practices of domination expose, quote, various kinds of madness, and Toni Morrison refers to racialized geographies as pathologies. I want to use the analogy of the Underground Railroad to draw a parallel with epigenetic inheritance and other invisible territory as an untold, uncharted geography. For it implies the possibility of experience of trauma echoing through generations by way of gene expression. And like the Underground Railroad, defy the lingering positivism that prevails in white cartographic and scientific practices. Whether or not we can say this is a real and meaningful geography will be incumbent upon how the field of epigenetic research will evolve, but it opens the possibility to imagine how these histories and traumas have affected our own social evolution and how we integrate them into life today. Beta has lost her arm as a result of unnatural time-space physics. Her painful supernatural returns to the Maryland plantation tore her apart. Her body is partly elsewhere, historically and geographically.
are now joined by Darkest Howe, who is a writer and broadcaster. And we can speak to him now, and Marcus Dow is in Croydon. Marcus Dow, are you shocked by what you've seen there last night? No, not at all. I have been living in London for 50 years. There are so many different groups and moments. But what I was certain about, listening to my grandson and my son, is that something very, very serious was going to take place in this country. Our political leaders had no idea. The police had no idea. But if you looked at, at, at young blacks and young whites with a discerning eye and a careful hearing, they have been telling us, and we would not listen, that what is happening in this country to them Mr. Well, Howe, if I can just, just, if I can just you know. stop you, Mr. Howe, for a moment. You're not, you say you're not shocked. Does this mean that you condone what happened in your community last night? I condone, if I, of course not. What I'm going to condone it for, what I am not, what I'm concerned about more than anything else, there is a young man called Mark Duggan. He has parents, he has brothers, he had sisters, and few yards away from him, the very age, a police officer blew his head off. Well, Mr. Howe, we, we, we have to... With him. Let me finish. Mr. Howe, we, we have to, to we have to wait for the official inquiry before we can say things like that. We don't know what happened to Mr. Duggan. We are going to wait for the police report on it. If I can take you on a little bit. Uh, you were talking about your grandson. You were talking about young people. You were talking about your grandson, you were talking about... They, they, they have been stopping and searching young blacks for no reason at all. I have a grandson, he's an angel. And he began to think he was coming of age when the police slapped him up against the wall and searched him. And he thought he had now had a gold star. I asked him the other day. Apropos of a sense that something was going seriously wrong in this country. I said, How many times have the police touched you? He said, Papa, I can't count. There's so many times. Mr. Howe, that may well have happened, and you say it did, I'm, I am not to go and say you, but that is, that is, that is no. It, if that is not an excuse to go out rioting and cause the sort of damage that we have been seeing over the last few days. Where were you in 1981 in Princeton? Mr. They had a, I don't call it rioting, I call it an insurrection of the masses of the people. It is happening in Syria, it is happening in uh, Clapham, it is happening in Liverpool, it is happening in Port of Spain, Trinidad, and that is the nature of the historical moment. Mr. Howard, uh, there is, it, it takes Mr. Howe, if I can just ask you, you are not a stranger to riots yourself, I understand, are you? You have taken part in them yourself. I'm not a, I have never taken part in a single riot. I've been on demonstrations that ended up in a conflict and have some respect for an old West Indian Negro and some accusing me of being a rioter. Because I knew what you're going to get a you just 
sound of idiot. What are some of Dog is how. Thank you very much for joining us for the Dog is how, their writer and broadcaster.